Well, if you have been following the uh, activities along the eastern slopes, you know that the uh, Coal Policy Committee had submitted its final report based on numerous interviews and submissions. I think in total about 25,000 folks uh, took time out to offer their opinion about the future of coal mining along the eastern slopes and what should happen. Well, we have a decision and I uh, was given an opportunity to sit down with uh, Energy Minister Sonia Savage to find out what the next moves are and where we go with coal policy here in Alberta. Minister, I guess the big takeaway uh, is the fact that there will be no new developments uh, along the eastern slopes when it comes to coal. Yes, so what we're, what we're doing is effective immediately all coal-related exploration and development on the eastern slopes are restricted. So we're keeping the 1976 coal policy in place and expanding the restrictions to include what's called Category 3 and 4 lands. So the entire eastern slopes will be, will be protected um, and uh, there'll be no change to that uh, unless and until land use planning says otherwise. So the restrictions are in place and they'll be expanded because the eastern slopes need to be protected. So when we're, we're talking about no new uh, developments, how many current developments that are sort of, I guess, underway and, and, and to what level? Like, it, it, does it go up to what has been already approved or there's expl exploration work taking place? Where's, where's the, the magic yep. line? It won't apply to any exploration work. So, so there'll be an ex exception for uh, uh, exception for the restrictions for active existing coal mines that are in operation and employ people. I believe there's there's uh, uh, four in the north, and it will also apply for projects that had an active uh, active application into the AER. So there's one in the north for an expansion of a, a mine. There's two active mines that are not, that, that they were active active mines, uh, Grassy Mountain and Tent Mountain, it wouldn't apply to them. And then there's one more in, in the north called Mine 14. So it won't apply to any exploration that's not considered an advanced project, only to existing brownfield uh, mines and properties and uh, advanced projects. So I, I guess in terms of moving forward then, um, what processes are, are going to be in place to, to look at sensitive areas? Uh, certainly the, the West Slope cutthroat trout um, species at risk. Um, I, I think one of the recommendations in the uh, report revolved around giving AER um, a little more authority perhaps in terms of addressing those areas is is that a correct interpretation well i think the starting point on it is that there is no all all new activity is is halted so the aer's role would only be in involved to existing operations in their existing mandate or if any of the advanced projects actually proceeds to a regulatory review so uh, um there won't be, and, and also obviously land use planning will proceed across the eastern slopes. I believe in 2024, there's a, the uh, South Saskatchewan land use framework is up for review. And obviously in the North Saskatchewan, that will be underway at some point in the future. And those issues obviously will be addressed in land use planning. Yeah, I guess that's the big one, isn't it? In terms of, of being able to, uh, you, you indicated that you're going to do a complete review of the 1976 coal policy. And uh, I guess, does that become a linchpin within the land use framework? Um, maybe just walk us through that a little bit. Well, certainly what, what uh, the Coal Policy Committee found was it reviewed the 1976 coal policy is many aspects of it had been made obsolete was 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 old things around uh, things around labor laws and equity ownership but what remained alive was the coal categories categories one two three four and the restrictions on where coal can and can't be developed that will obviously be be part of future land use planning to to look at look at that um, whether there's any any possibility anywhere 
for any coal activities of any time. But until that happens, until land use planning, there's a complete halt in the entire eastern slopes. So just uh, again, so I'm, I, I can understand a little bit clearer when um, these the current mines that that have the green light that that are operating. Um, what um, what safety measures monitoring is in place to ensure the health of, of critical habitat? Well, there's existing laws and regulations that are that are in place um, and, and have been in place to protect the environment. Those laws continue. We're not changing any of those laws on existing mines and existing environmental monitoring. Those, those laws remain in place. What we're doing today is, is around the land, the coal categories and the land use planning to say there will be no new development on, on the eastern slopes. We're restricting coal on the eastern slopes. We're protecting the eastern slopes. Land use planning will proceed in the future and we'll, we'll look at the coal categories, but in, in, until then there, there's no new development. But to be to be clear, the existing laws that are that are in place around environmental protection are remain in place and uh, will will continue on existing uh, across the existing landscape. When we mentioned monitoring, of course, a, a new word for many of us during this whole process was selenium. Um, when you look at that in terms of downstream, um, how does that factor into moving forward with, with all of the, the, the developments that may or may not happen in the future? Well, that would be something that would have to be addressed in, in future land use planning. And uh, if any of the existing uh, advanced projects were ever to proceed to a regulatory application, it's something that would have to be addressed. But in this case, we're, we're just saying we're putting a halt on coal. So those are those are issues that would be addressed project specific in the future. There, there are so many moving parts to this minister. I'm wondering in, as you look forward uh, to to doing all the planning and 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 advancing, bringing the the new coal, coal policy into into uh, life. Um, do we need to do a, a a more effective job in coordinating with all the different agencies and and ensuring that uh, you know in the future. Um, all our, our T's are crossed and I's dotted in terms of protecting sensitive places. Well, to be clear, we never should have rescinded the 1976 coal policy in, in 2020. It, it, it should never have happened. Um, we are, that's why we have reinstated it. We reinstated it in 2021. That's why today we're ensuring it remains in place. And that's why we've uh, added to, to the restrictions in the 19. 76 coal policy and added the entire eastern slopes into that. We've uh, we've uh, hardwired those restrictions into the AER by by the way of a of a directive, a ministerial's directive under Section 67 of uh, the Responsible Energy Development Act. It's a, a ministerial order has been signed to to uh, ensure that the halt on on all coal activities is hardwired into the regulations. And uh, then on top of that, it's going to be, to be there'll be a process to, to put the coal categories and those restrictions into the Eastern slopes policy, while it will take a little longer time to complete the land use planning. But to be clear, we never should have rescinded the coal policy in the first place. That was put in there for, for a reason and it was studied in 1976 by Peter Lougheed's government. Albertans at the time said the Eastern Slopes are important, they need to be protected. It was never our intention to remove the restrictions, we, but we did. Um, with the coal categories being in place, we, we, th those restrictions were, were removed because land use planning had not been completed. So by putting the coal policy back in place and hardwiring those restrictions in there, we've, we've got some time to get, to get everything right, right on that landscape. All right, Minister, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. And I think you've, uh, you, you're probably going to make an awful lot of people real happy. We thank you so much for your time. Well, it's, the, it's the right thing to do. It's absolutely, completely the right thing to do to, to protect the Eastern Slopes.